Hello my friends, welcome back to another TFT video. Today is a very special video because I'm going to be trying to teach you how to play the game. Because I heard that some of you don't know how to play this game who watch me, so I'd like to teach you. <laughs> so I think that's a pretty good idea. Uh, so right here, let's just start off at the very beginning. These three things are portals. And depending on what portal gets picked, which is voted upon this is what i wanted to pick trainer sentinels you start with three emblems so these emblems are representative of traits in the game all champions have traits some of them have two a uh, few of them have three traits but the whole point of tft is basically making your best board and lining up a, a good combination of traits so that your board can be strong there are some exceptions here and there but i won't get into all of that right away so it looks like we got Faded, Sniper, and Warden. Now, Faded is a pretty good trait. Uh, it makes them a lot stronger to have more Faded units, and they get a special bonus, which I'll show you as soon as I get another Faded unit. Yeah, I think this is going to be our Faded game. Um, so basically right here, what you want to do for this portal is he gets all three of these traits, so you're up an extra trait, essentially. Well, an extra three traits, really. And you want to try to match up... You know, you want to try to take advantage of the fact that you have all these traits, so you want to really match up your units. Now, Faded has a special bonus where when you combine them, like I just did right there with another Faded unit, it gains a Faded bonus. It gains 18% attack speed. So both of these units have 18% attack speed and a 300 health shield right at the beginning of combat. Uh, I think I think we'll pre-level here, which means we'll level up. We'll buy some experience, and it'll level up uh, automatically uh, in the beginning of this next round. It'll give us a higher chance of seeing a higher tier unit. And what we really want to see is a freaking Aphelios, man. That would be nice. He's a faded sniper, so that would be pretty good. Uh... Buried treasure. These are augments right here. So basically, they're just bonuses to your team to make your team stronger. Mm, static shiv is pretty cool. I think I'll get this. It's because I already have this guy right here. It's Kindred. It's a good item for him or her. Uh, what else can we add on here? We could put in another Dryad. See, this guy's a Dryad and a Warden, so he gives us both. That's actually pretty good. I'd say that's pretty good. I have one item, but it'd be a lot nicer to have more than one item right now. Suppose I could, you know what? I know Hextech is pretty good. This might not be optimal, but I do want to win streak this game. So win streaking is going to make it so that I earn interest if I win multiple times in a row. So like right here, I have one win, but no streak. You need three to four wins in a row to have a win streak, and then it would give me one gold for every round that goes by, or every, um, every yeah, every round, every fight. Basically gain an extra gold off of it. Now, if I build up to ten gold, it would give me an intro. It, it goes one gold per ten gold. So if I reach ten gold, I'd have My an extra gold clear. in interest every round, which would be pretty sweet. Okay, so I really just want faded units for the most part. Oh, I have an exalted in. She's exalted as well. Exalted, if you get three exalted units in, <laughs> which they're all two cost this game, I think that's pretty funny. Hmm, this is a tough choice. If you get three exalted in, you get 10% extra damage just flat out. And look, there's two exalted units right there. I kept seeing people in my last round go exalted. There was like three of them. It was pretty crazy. So we're just holding them for now. It's not like we can make gold from interest or anything like that. So it's all good. Man, like a jeweled gauntlet or a blue buff on Kindred would probably be pretty sweet right now. Uh, you know, another exalted. So Darkness. much. Exalted. Ooh, and this, and this. Oh, this is a tough choice, man. Um, what if I do like? Oh no, but he's exalted as well. So. Oh man, I want to. 
pre-level. I want to pre-level. I will sell this and this, and I'll pre-level again. I am making no gold right now. See, so yeah, remember how I said every 10 gold you get, you gain one gold of interest? Well, I'm kind of screwing myself over here by not making any interest. But it's because I can't make my mind up to see what I want to build at the moment. Um, which isn't the best way to play. But it could pay off in the long run, so we'll see. It's a very risky move. Very, uh, very gambler-like, which is how I like to play the game. Because that's how you get the biggest boards and stuff. Like, winning the whole time until you have all the gold. Uh, right here, we need one more item for our kindred. It would be really nice to get this rod right here. Because then we could give our kindred a jeweled gauntlet. And it's gone. Okay, well, we kind of expected that it might be. So, in this case, I think a tanking item would probably be the best bet here. Uh, I guess I have no choice, so I'll buy that. I guess blue buff would have been, or tier, tier item would have been pretty good, maybe for our kindred. Ooh, another one of these dudes. You're exalted as well, huh, Kiana? Okay, so if we go level 6, we'll, we'll have 3 Exalted, which is pretty nice. Uh, oh, I forgot I'm supposed to be making freaking Aphelios items, man. I'm kind of supposed to be making Aphelios items right now. I think we could sell him for Eco. Because we're not gonna... I don't think we're gonna play the guy. He's not Exalted. If he was Exalted, then we would play him. Uh, I hope we win this one. Ideally, I would like to just be throwing in, you know, faded units so I can have, like, see, because the, the pair gets the bonus for the, my faded, but if I have five all faded champions, going to gain the bonus of whatever two champions I tie together. So that'd be pretty good, but we are not getting lucky. And look, we have made our 10 gold, so now we get one extra gold of interest, and we have four win streak, so we get another extra gold. Gold is probably the most important currency in this game. The more gold you have, the more gold you get. Just like real life. Crazy. Now, let's try to find some faded units to put here. Uh, Ari, she's faded. Uh, Aphelios is faded, and we certainly need him. Thresh is faded as well. Kindred, we already have one. Uh, and set. I think that's it. Is it just four more faded? Yep, just the four of them. No, there's five. Syndra, I forgot about Syndra. How could I forget? Very strong. Maybe we'll give her uh, Kindred's items once we finally find her. Okay. This guy's pretty strong. He seems to be playing porcelain slash faded. Aw, uh, dude, Kindred. Nice. Okay, so we really didn't want to lose there because now we have a five win streak, which gives us two gold. And then I just sold her because I'm sure we'll find one more exalted unit before we do it. I did it for the gold, okay? I did it for the extra gold. That's a lot of extra gold. That's pretty good. Ghostly Reaper, and then we have Thresh. Oh, is Thresh exalted? Who else is exalted? No? It's four. I think Exalted would be good, but I don't know, man. I don't think it's too worth it. I don't think it's too worth it here. What we really need is a champion called Aphelios. We need an Aphelios so we can start popping off. Popping off, dude. O2 gauntlets make a thieves clubs, which gives you two extra random items. Sometimes they suck, sometimes they're good. Uh, we're gonna go level six, and so we can eco still and be just a little bit stronger. And then Thresh shares his resistances with other units, so we definitely want him to have that. And now we have a thieves gloves, random thieves gloves that we could equip. 
And I think I will. Just because it's, I mean, it's a friggin' Thieves Clubs, man. It's good every time. It's good every time. Uh, I really wish that we had an Aphelios, though. That would give us Sniper and 5 Faded. And all of our Faded, uh, what we really want to reach right now is 5, so all of our Faded units can gain the, the bonus. Okay, we won that. Still got a little gold going for ourselves. So we're trying to eco here basically as hard as we can. Uh, we're trying to reach level nine. This guy's board is really strong. This is what I usually like to play, but we're trying to reach level nine. Uh, we don't want any of that support item maybe, or just have my team deal more damage or a bow. I think I'll just take this. Makes my team deal more damage and we if we happen to come across a uh, Faded player, we will show them what's what, so we're gonna take that. Here's a fifth faded unit. I really need to put her in, but I don't have space at the moment. Oh, maybe this. This might not be too bad. Dang. I mean, we kind of lose a little front line there, but we kind of want to keep it for the Reaper, man. The Reaper, man. I suppose I could sell these two Dariuses right now. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. this guy is going to be hard to kill. Oh, my poor pain, man. Oh, he got shielded. Oh, it's close. It's so close. Come on. Yeah, it's like Thresh casted, so he used the shield on my units there. Nice. Nice. Okay, so we really wanted to beat that guy. Wow, Kindred's doing damage. So is Kane. I'm glad I kept them in. But the reason we wanted to keep Kane in there was to get the Reaper. Aatrox offers you a component. Player health, four gold. Uh, I think we'll take a component. We don't really need health because we have a lot of health. So, gold? Maybe we could use some gold. I think we'll take gold, actually. And then now we have Aphelia, so we can put him in there and get Sniper in as well. Uh, it would be really nice to reach 7 Faded. So we have Ari. All we need is Syndra or Set or another Spatula if we get lucky enough to hit another Spatula. So now we are at 50 gold. 5 interest is the most interest that you can gain. So we're doing good. We're doing really good. And then we have our win streak going as well. Okay. This guy's team is really tanky. He's playing Story Weaver as well. Uh, now we can start rolling down a little bit to make our units a little stronger. So in this game, once you get a pair of units or three of the same unit, they upgrade into a bigger one. And at this point, we heavily need uh, at least one, at least our Kindred who has been doing all of our damage needs to be a two star so that she can do more damage all right so what are we getting here a rod a rod would really be good uh don't know if we're gonna get that though rods are very high demand at the moment everybody wants a good rod okay i uh, Guess I just lied. Uh, nobody wanted that, so I'll take it. Yep, except for that guy. See, that's the other guy. Uh, pretty much has the same amount of HP I do. We are competing for first. We're rolling down a little bit, just a little bit. Come on, give us a two star. Any two star, two stars, two stars, two stars. Okay, we got one kindred and the only two star that we're not playing. So pretty silly but it is what it is. I, Okay, so this Ionic Spark item is pretty good. It shreds resistance to magic, but this item that we have here also shreds, and the shreds don't stack, so make sure you don't do that. Ionic Spark or Static Shiv, not both. I, I actually just remembered that all my Static Shivs do more damage, too. Yeah, building a couple Static Shivs wouldn't be too bad. Oh, this guy might beat us here because we haven't gotten stronger in quite a long time. 
Yeah, he definitely beats us. So we basically haven't gotten any stronger in the past couple of rounds, and you always want to like find little ways to upgrade your board. And we were not able to because we couldn't even hit our two-star kindred that we wanted, so we lost that round. It definitely do be like that. So it is what it is. We lost our win streak, which really sucks. Oh, this is cool. This just gives you the augment right now. I'll fake it. Hedge fund would be good. Um, Pandora's items would be good because then I could just get whatever items I need. Your team gains 15% more damage. After 15 seconds, ooh. So this makes it so our max interest that we can gain is up to 10. So we're taking that, and it gives us a bunch of gold, which is pretty much the best thing in the game. Um, I really want to put this in here. And, <laughs> I mean, we're going to just have to probably take out this cane here. Uh, it's okay if we lose here. It's not too big of a deal if we do, but we'd rather win. Oh, doesn't look like we can, we'll get to though. Oh, I mean that Kaisa is just back there though. Uncheck. Ah, uh, he must not have trick shot in. Yeah, so Kaisa is a really good unit. She's been buffed quite a few times, but we don't have her trait active she only does damage to one unit and that like sucks really Syndra's faded bonus is to deal 10% more damage so I have 10% more damage on 10% more damage and if I would have taken final ascension it would have been 15% more damage so that's just damage everywhere dude we're definitely gonna have to level up after this I really would love to try to get uh, more faded units in. Sell that. Uh, buy this. Hmm. Faded? I don't need you. Six faded and then seven faded right here. I mean... Yeah, that seems like a lot better, actually. Okay, and then for my items, for my items, I'm gonna give her hex tech, so I'll get even more healing on my units. That's what hex tech gunblades do, by the way. I realize I hadn't said that yet. Hex tech gunblades make it so that your your abilities heal yourself and another unit. So technically, by me stacking hex tech gunblades like I am doing right now, it's just giving me a lot more survivability. Oh, but I think I still lose to this. Yep, still lose to that. We're still doing pretty good though. We have seven faded. We have we are making colossal amounts of interest and we're really healthy at the moment, so we want to try to reach level nine. Reaching level nine would be nice. I'll roll down a little bit here. That's kind of a really big deal of what I wanted. We'll add in Wukong at level eight. Oh, and we have two Syndras, so we're close to getting another one. Dude. Today. Darn it, dude. I might replace Nar. I don't know if I really want him in there right now. Like, he's alright. And he's giving me trades, so maybe I won't actually. Like, he, he's kind of frontlining for me. Because my frontline's getting melted pretty hard. Oh, this guy's playing duelists. It's a lot of duelists. Duelists basically just attack fast until you're dead. Pretty nice, dude. Could probably level up here again. I'd rather three-star Kindred than Nar. Oh, I think I just picked my trash can. <laughs> uh, I think I'd rather three-star Kindred. Nar's kind of whatever, man. Have them both back here. Maybe I should give everybody more armor try to make them survive a little bit longer uh, I guess I could level up here I, I want to try to conserve HP I don't want to like be losing health every round or anything like that 
my items are a little not so great. But it's whatever. Oh, we fought this guy before. He's pretty strong. His his emblems are awesome. His emblems are pretty much my favorite combination that I could get. Oh, and he's, you can tell, because he's uh, very strong because of it. Look how tanky he is. Oh, I'm finally at his back line. Can I do it? Can I do it? Come on, attack him again. Oh no, dude. Yes, I can't believe I got him. That was a very, uh, very close round. I, like I said, I really wanted to win there. Man, I want Irelia, dude. Irelia just seems to be the best unit right now. So, of course, she gets picked up first, and then her deer also instantaneously gets picked up. Tier would be good. I really want two tiers for a blue buff, but... You know, I'd be fine with taking a Thresh. Nobody's going Faded, so I think I can... I'm almost positive I haven't fought anybody who's Faded. Story Weaver, Exalted. Duelist. Yeah, I don't think anybody else is going Faded, so... What I just used was a Champ dupe, duplicated, duplicated Black Champion. And I'm going to put this on Syndra just to give her more damage ideally man if she was two starred let me roll down just a little bit yeah it would have been nice if she was two starred but she's not she would just do a lot more damage like I said we want to stay really good with our econ so that we can go level nine and hit a very high cap board hopefully we just hit some three stars along the way uh, Syndra? Syndra? Okay, that's good. Oh, please get that dude. That dude is crazy! That dude is crazy! Yes! Beat him up! Nice. Uh, I can't believe Kindred is carrying this far. She's only a two cost unit, so she's not really that strong. Oh, gold. I'll take gold for extra eco. Alright, so we're level 8 right now. That's pretty good. We can go level 9 soon. I mean, look at... Okay, that's a lot of gold, dude. That is a lot of gold right there. Uh, I think I'm giving up on three-starring Kindred because there's only a 25% chance of seeing Kindred right now. And Ari. And we will stick with these three units and hopefully three-star all of them. Definitely need a three-star Thresh. And if we hit a three-star Syndra, we'll be in a really good spot. This guy's playing eight ghostly, four behemoth. This is absolutely insane, and now I'm fighting him. Uh, basically, Ghostly was the most overpowered thing that there was last patch. Now it's pretty strong still, but he has eight, so it's absolutely very, very, very strong still. He does a lot of damage. That Shen right there, look at his tanks. Ooh. Okay, that guy's gonna be a tough cookie to crack. Good thing we have a lot of gold, but... He's extremely strong right now. We are made by Try an Invoker. Hmm. Azir's pretty good. But his ability only hits one unit at a time. And I don't know if it's worth replacing our front line for that. We kind of have a weak front line right now. That's why they keep going through all of our stuff so fast. Man, uh, Set would be really good right now. Set would be pretty good right now. I think we're gonna go level nine after this. Oh yeah, and we have some very possible set items. Let's go level nine and try to find a set. Just a few rolls. There he is. That's who we needed. need to find a good replacement for Nar. And then... Armory. Trinity Force for our set. Give me a sword. No sword. Uh, guard Breaker it is then. There we go. Okay, well our set has items. So maybe he'll... Maybe he'll pop off a little bit with those. 
Ooh, I definitely need to two-star him now. My boy has got to be two-starred, and I think I need to start rolling down, at least slow rolling a little bit here, try, so I can hit some units. Uh, there's another set. A couple of Udyrs. Lissandra. I'm gonna put her in. She makes items out of other units. It's very funny. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, that's really good right there. We wanted to two-star him. I also wanted to two-star her really bad. And there we go. They're probably the best ones to have uh, active right now. Have a Lissandra in. I could add a Behemoth with my dude right there, my Udyr. Alright, let's see if he, uh, he can go to work on him. Oh man, this duelist guy is really strong. He's really strong. I can't beat him, wow. That's crazy. That's actually really surprising that I couldn't beat that guy. How much damage is he doing? I mean, who? Trist. I wonder if they buffed her or something. I've tried playing Trist a lot. He never does that much damage. Or Arcanist, too. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Could probably take out that. Oh, that's even better, man. That's even better. Trick shot? I don't know. Uh, I think this. It would be nice to three or two star some five cost champs, so I, I might still just roll down here. I think I have to to stabilize more. My board isn't as strong as I feel like it should be, so. Look at that. I'm just getting locked on, man. I'm just getting freaking locked on. Set. Can you ult? Hold, buddy. Ult for me, buddy. Oh. Uh, just stuck forever. Yikes. Oh, I think we're one match away from death if we're not careful here. Yeah, we're one match away from death. Two star Udir would be nice. And maybe an item for him. I'm gonna roll down to zero here. Try to hit some units. I really want that two star Udir. Really want him. Oh, of course not. Hextech, another Hextech. Sure. This is a little bizarre to have so many Hextechs, but it is what it is. It might actually help us on Lissandra. Or even Way would be uh, pretty decent to have that on. Alright, let's sell that. Let's roll to zero. Let's try to hit some units. Yep. Okay. Let's give him that. He can use it. Udyr can use that. Uh, I don't really care about him. Is empty without or him. Okay. Okay, we're trying to make our board as strong as possible just so we can top four here. At least. You know, I think I could put Udyr... No, he doesn't have 2,000 HP. Neither of them do. This guy's strong, man. This guy's strong. He might get me. Come on. Slam him. Slam him. Please win. Oh, she made me an item. Please win. Yes. Yes, dude. Finally, we were on a four lose streak, man. We were about to die. Oh, we're still in danger, actually. There's still a chance that we don't top four, which means that we lose if we don't top four. This is sweet. This eight free rerolls this round. Stick to the plan. Yeah, that's good. Also good. We're just rolling to see if we find a behemoth. Okay. Okay, our board. Um. 
is an interesting board. <laughs> uh, I don't really know how I feel about it too much. It's uh, doing its best, I suppose you could say. Definitely doing its best. I'm slightly surprised we made it this well, not that we made it this far, but at the outcome. Oh, slam. Dude, this is a strong build that he's playing right now. He uh just back there with that Lux back there, just ruining my whole day. She does a million damage. What damn what item is this? Oh, it's his item! He's so strong. This porcelain build is one of the strongest builds in the game right now, and I think I'm dead. Okay, I somehow lived at 2 HP. We uh, have made it to top four, which is technically a win because you don't lose ELO, but it's not a great win. So we're gonna try to make it to top three at least. This guy is insane with his porcelain. Um, so is this guy with ghostly. It's just looking rough. And this guy's four trick shot with the bruiser frontline and story weaver. Wow. Uh, everybody's board in here is extremely strong right now. That is for sure. All right. Well, uh, maybe we can get at least one more thresh to three star the dude. Maybe. Let's see. Thresh? Thresh? There's Thresh. At least hit him. Get another item. Mm. Spear Shojin. Bloodthirster. Giant Slayer. Bloodthirster. Giant Slayer. Oh, I didn't slam it. There he goes. Alright, well. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. It's the strongest my board could be, I, I feel like. Oh, come on, set. Slam! Oh, that healed him so hard. Please kill that Kaisa, dude. Nice. Very nice. Top three. Top three. So that's good. All right. Uh really don't think we beat anybody else here this guy's this guy's like unbeatable i think he's very strong right now he's three starring all his whole board this guy is extremely strong as well uh out of all of them we could probably beat him but it feels really unlikely to me that we do Just moved around our units a little bit in hopes that they'd go get his Senna back here, which is his most dangerous target. Set, go that way, bro. Slam, slam her. Okay, that slam was enormous. Uh, got slammed backwards, I think. Go, 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 slam, slam. No, dude. He actually had the slam right on her. He had the freaking slam right on her. He was about to slam back in there and kill her, but... He didn't get the cast off. He got killed beforehand. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time. GG.